Hey guys, welcome and in this video I'll be showing you how to create this changing status on Discord which by the way is pretty cool and it's very simple to do and it changes every couple of seconds depending what you put in, in a text file which is over here as you can see basically anything you've got here will then be displayed down here and this can go on forever forever there's no limit to it whatsoever so let's basically begin so basically what we first have to do is actually import two libraries through our code the first one is actually going to be time since we're going to be doing um time.sleep every couple of seconds like it basically depends on how long you want it to be and then we also need to import requests why are we importing requests this is because we're going to basically be requesting an api from discord basically we're going to be using discord api to then change our status through the API, like you can see over here. So to do this, basically, we need to actually first, you know, define what API we're going to be using from Discord API. So basically, go here and then type in URL is equals and then HTTPS Discord.com slash API slash version 9 slash users slash app make. Basically, this gives us an API which changes stuff about us, or should I say, it gives us basically stuff we can do with our account. So the next thing we want to basically do is actually open ourselves a text file, open one, create one if it doesn't exist already, so we can actually put our web stuff in here. So to do this, we're going to basically do file equals open text.txt and then set it as read only since we don't have to write anything to it and the name can be anything you really want. Then after we've done that, we then have to read the individual lines in our text file. So this is very really simple once again. We basically want to do lines is equals to file.readLines. And this is an import function of Python of the file thing, which basically reads individual lines in our Python, or shall I say text file. When we're done basically with that, we can create a new um, function. I'm going to call this change status. And inside here, we're going to have the message, which is going to be our parameter. And before we actually, you know, call the API, we first need to have an authorization header. Basically, this header will let us use this API since the since Discord will know what type of person we're trying to basically, you know, change the API off. Basically, by adding this header, Discord will know which account to basically change, you know, the status off. So what we're basically going to do is create a new variable called this header, and inside header we're going to have we're going to call this authorization, um, lowercase, everything, and then colon, and then inside here is going to be our token, our authorization token. To actually find your authorization token, just go on discord.com um, through the website, and over here, we're going to do control shift i to open up the inspect elements. Head over to network, which is down here, and basically, this will start getting ourselves all the requests, all the get, all the posts that the website is using. So basically reset, refresh the website so we can get all the posts and requests again. And then the next thing you want to do is wait, filter your um, URLs, just type in slash API down here. And in a bit, they should now filter out the API requests and then just press on any of them you want. I think um, library is one of them. And then if you scroll down to over here, you can see the authorization token is here. For safety for my account, I will actually blur this thing out because I don't want my account being hacked or anything like that. But this is where you find your authorization token. And when you do actually have your authorization token, go back into your Python script and then just copy and paste the token in here. And then the next thing we actually need to do is what the API, what we basically send in Discord to actually change. So I'm going to do JSON data. And this will equal to, it's going to be our status, which is one of the API requests we can do. And for us, it's going to be online. It can be anything you really want it to be. But what we actually are interested in is the custom status. So basically do custom status, just like this, colon, and then curly brackets. And then inside here, we do text is equals to message, which was our thing down here, as we did before. And actually, before we actually do advanced, let's just change our URL to version 8 and then add me. We're going to change this to slash settings. And then down here, we can now do request is equals to requests dot patch. And inside here, we're going to do the URL of our API request, the headers, which is going to be header, and then the JSON data, which is going to be JSON data. 
and then we're basically done with our function and this message is what we're basically going to pull into this API request. So I think you guys know what this is actually going now. We're basically going to create a while true loop. So I'll do while true. And I kind of been coding a lot in C sharp lately, so I kind of forget that you need the upper brackets for this. And then we're going to do a for loop. So do for line in lines. We're going to do change status line dot split. We're going to do a line break and then the index of zero. Just close the brackets down here and we should stop getting the error now. And then in the end, we do time dot sleep and then put this to something like three. And then when we are all done with all that, just launch a script like you would do usually. And then we are basically done with our script and you can just launch the script right now like you usually do. And then if you do launch the Python script, you should be able to see a new text document or a text file being formed. Obviously mine already has stuff in it since it's be basically been made before. But basically put anything you want in here and then each line will be basically the new custom styles that your Discord bot is going to have. Not Discord bot, yourself. Even though you can actually put the same logic to a Discord bot too, nothing really changes. It's practically more easier since you can just do change styles on a bot rather than making an individual request. But we digress. Now if we go back to you know Discord and over here, we can basically see that right now um, we have basically lyrics of a song being put on Eminem the way I am over here. And that's basically how you create a cool custom status that you can use. Um, if you enjoyed this video, just hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and join our Discord server if you want to basically get more help, suggest any more video ideas I could do, etc. Other than that, have a great week, have a great day and I'll see you next time.